Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Courtney. Today I am doing a pretty easy, quick makeup tutorial for a summertime look. The focus on uh, more of a vivid liner and mascara, keeping the skin nice and glowy and sun-kissed, and a sheer glossy red lip. Please uh, stick around to the end if you want to see how I created this makeup look. So the products that I'm using today are from the drugstore, so easy to find, a little bit easier on your wallet, good quality products, and then afterwards I'm going to pair this look with an outfit for today. It's about 85 degrees here in Albany, New York. So uh, try to find something that's not gonna, or it's gonna help me stop sweating. Okay, so I already put my skincare on, but I saw this in the drugstore. This is Physician's Formula. I don't know if you can see that. I'll link everything down below. Uh, 24 karat gold collagen serum, and it says massage onto entire face and neck day and night. So I'm assuming that this you would use as a normal serum, but it does have like gold flecks in it. It's really interesting. Um, <laughs> so I would normally put my serum on before my moisturizer because your moisturizer locks in everything. Um, so you want to put your eye creams, your serums. I'm going to try this for the first time. Let's see how it goes. Oh, into two pumps. Uh, it has a really cooling, I don't know if it's a cooling, but it feels really good. It feels like a drink of water on the skin. Hmm. That feels really nice because I am sweating my balls off because it's like 85 degrees and I can't put the fan on. Okay, let's try to get this done before I melt. It's really important to use SPF every day. They say for the body, so I'll use, this one smells really good too. It's like you're at the beach, like a coconut. But you fill up a, like a shot glass size, that should take care of your whole body. And for the face, you should be using about, I think they said like half a teaspoon. So it's a surprising amount, like you're supposed to uh, at least that much to go on your face. So what I do is I'll do my skincare after all your skincare is done and before your primers, you put your sun, your SPF protection on. This one feels really nice. It doesn't, it hasn't caused any breakouts. Some SPFs will do that, so you have to be careful which ones that work best for your skin. Um, it goes on <clears throat> pretty white when you're first applying it, but then it, it really does melt into your skin and then you don't have that white cast. I usually let that dry for about a minute, so you can do your hair, you can brush your teeth, do something for about a minute, and then you can come back. A minute has passed. And so I'm going to go in with my primer, Smashbox Primerizer. I just use one pump. And for summertime, well, most of the time I like something that's a little bit lighter in weight because I put uh, layers of makeup on. So you have your base, you have a little concealer, you have your setting powder, bronzer, sculpting. So you don't need to start off with something that, that has so much coverage to it. I'm really into mixing the Lumi Glotion in with just a little bit of MAC Face and Body. Rub that together. I just use my fingers. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge, um, but I find that this works just as good. Bring a little bit down your neck. If your ears are a little lighter, just throw a little bit on there. A little bit off on your legs. <laughs> I use these two shades. So this one for the, d the darkness and this one right next to it, just to strategically put under the puff to create the illusion that it's not there. So with the darker, I'll pat that on with my finger. Just tap it on, you don't want to like pull your eye because as you age, the elasticity doesn't, doesn't stick around as well. So now with that small flat brush, go in with that lighter color and I just tap it on 
and then I'll look in a mirror that I have another mirror here and then I have another mirror behind me so if I can see far away that it's taking care of business then I'm good and I know that I can stop because I don't want to build up too much under the eye oh, good enough now we powder so I went to the drugstore and but I'm really liking these elf brushes they are vegan um, this one has like a really nice shape to it and I ran out of the hourglass setting powder so I'm just going in with my tried and true MAC invisible powder it's really nice because it doesn't build up a lot of coverage and it also doesn't give color so it's good for a myriad of skin tones just a light dusting, just to set it so that the other powder products have something to ride on. It'd be more seamless if you just put that thin veil of powder on. My sculpt, I've hit pan quite a long time ago. Fluffy brush. I know that e.l.f. has a really nice version of this as well. This one is the MAC 188 brush. Mark Jacobs bronzer. Fantastic. Large fluffy brush. This you apply to a larger area. Try to make my forehead a little bit shorter. Is it working? Physician's Formula. This is the butter highlighter, but I really like it as a blush. Put a little swatch there. Because it has a little bit of like a peachy color to it. So with that fluffy brush because your fluffy brushes don't apply too much i just swirl a little bit around and then just go right over where you put your bronzer a little bit more on the apples of the cheeks et voila it's really really pretty and it's really creamy but it i believe it is a powder I like those peachier colors for the summertime month. Uh, the True Match Lumi by L'Oreal. This is the shade, don't know, but it's a multi-use powder glow illuminator. It's really nice because it has four different colors. It has like an icier blue. It's got that peachy tone. It's got this really cool violet. And then it has a white, like a more of a true white for the highlight. So you can mix it all together and create one color or you can dip into them individually and you have like five highlighters in one. Great multi-use product. Same 188 brush. I'm going to dip into the peachier for my cheek highlight. But then I really like this more violet to go down the bridge of my nose. I feel like the colors play off each other well. A little on the Cupid's bow. And then that peachier color I'll dip into again, same brush. I just kind of squeeze it a little bit because that fits perfectly underneath the eyebrow. And there you go. Brows. I do the same thing with my brows. It's This is the MAC Old School Brow Pencil. Um, so I'll just forward through this because you've already seen this done a million times. That's not even. Perfect. Pick this palette up. This is the NYX Ultimate Edit in shade Warm Neutrals. So you have a good amount of shadow in the pan. I forget how much this is. I think it was like eight dollars. Um, NYX is also a really good company. They're cruelty free. Um, they have great product, and that's just a really cohesive color story. So you have a few matte shades. You have a few frost shades. They all work really well together and they're all individual enough so you don't feel like you're getting two of the same color or three of the same color. They're beautiful. I'm gonna start off with a base just so the product has something to adhere to. If you want your colors to pop a little bit more, putting a base down, um, there's a lot of really beautiful bases that do different things. So if you get something that's tackier, which is what I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use the concealer that I used under my eyes as the base because I want the powders to set that and be a, a bit bolder. But Urban Decay, I really like their uh, primer potion, I believe it's called. It 
it helps the eyeshadows to last longer. So if you have more of a creasing issue, that's great. But for today, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. With my finger. A thin coat will do. You don't need a lot because you don't want to have to put so much product down to set it because then it'll start getting cakey. So just a little bit on my finger. And then I am just applying it to the lid and then blending out. This is the MAC 252 brush. I like using this when I'm packing on color. I'm going to make this more of a coppery peachy look. So I'm going to go in with this third color here, load up my brush. And this is a firm like paddle brush. So it picks up a lot of color and applies a lot of color, but if, I don't know if you can see that. There's a ton coming off. The brush knows how much that you need at the time, but it's easier to build than have all that fallout, and then you have to redo your foundation. But you can do your foundation afterwards if, if you do have that issue. So I'm packing the color on the lid first, because that's where you want the most color to be. And go in with a fluffy brush with nothing on it, just a dry brush. Just do small circles and blend up, and that should blend it out for you. But that's just one coat. If you feel like you need a little bit more in certain areas, go back in with that firm brush. Press that where you need it. You don't have to go over the whole thing with a fluffy brush, just those edges that you want to soften. Well, I want this to be a more wearable everyday. I don't want too much of eyeshadow taking away for, from the liner because I want this to be more of a liner focus, um, liner and lash. So going in, in with uh, that mid-tone color for my coloring, We'll just add a little bit of dimension to the eye, but not make it get too dark. See? Just warms it up. Even though it looks like a pretty light shade, there's a lot of color to it. I am going to go in with that darker shade. I like a little bit of darkness under the eye. Just to add a little bit of depth under the eye area and to make the eyes look more almond shaped. So I saw this and I was like, that is gorgeous. I love those electric blues, especially paired with the warmer eyeshadow. This is the first time I'm using it, so let's see how it goes. All right, so this is going on top of that cream base and the powder shadows, and this is a creamier product. So at first, it does it goes on pretty transparent, and I'm looking for more an opaque. This is what it looks like if it's just on raw skin, but what I'm gonna do is let that set and then go in with another coating and see if I can build up that color. Yeah, that's not enough for me. It'll go in with I'll try an angle brush. This is super creamy. It's going away very fast. Okay, so I feel like if you want something that's a little bit more transparent, uh, it, it does look like a much more vibrant shade in the packaging than what is swatched on the back of my hand. I want this look to be more liner focused and a really bold color. So what I'm gonna do is use this as a base and then you can get the shape that you want. And I'm gonna go in with a powder shadow because that should uh, make that a lot more vibrant. Ah, sugar pill. I don't know if they, I do believe they still have this on the website, but I will link everything down below. I'm gonna go in with that angle brush to this cobalt shade. Yeah, 
immediately better. I feel like with colors like this, you get more from a gel liner rather than a pencil liner. It's hard to do in a pencil. But if you do have it and you spent your money but you do want a bolder color, just add in add a, a powder shadow on top of it and you'll immediately get that wow factor. Look at the difference. I love that. Thank you, Amy. I did really like the mascara. You do... I always find that I have to build up most mascaras. It takes a while to build up, but when it does, it ha the color payoff is great. When I do mascara, I use every part of the wand. So for underneath the, or for the bottom lashes, I like to use the tip of it because it tends to collect a little bit more pigment and product. And if you have lashes like mine, they're very thin. If I build up the product faster, it won't take as long for me to get to the result that I'm looking for. But that is pretty good for one coat, even though it took five minutes to fit the one coat on. I like this. It's pretty easy to do, takes no time at all. If you do want to see something that's a little bit more dramatic, because we can take this like a daytime look into a more nighttime look, let me know in the comments below because uh, that's a e really easy way to just add a few more products and take it into a more like glam look. The next butter glosses, I don't know why it is taking me so long to find these, but these are beautiful. I can't, they smell like candy but not in a gross way, like just a, oh God, that's taste, yes. Uh, let me swatch it someplace I don't have a tattoo. They're on the sheer side, but it's super glossy, gives a glass-like effect. It doesn't move, doesn't like travel, it doesn't break down other lipsticks or other lip products. I find it's just so gorgeous. I love that it's sheer for summertime, gives a more translucent effect, really lightweight. I just love it. I am going to put down a liner first. We'll do Red by MAC. Once I line, I will take the side of the pencil and I just want a sheer coat of it, so I'll just throw a little bit on. This does come off super pigmented. So if you wanted a bolder red, if you wanted a bolder red lip, you can just keep on filling in and it'll come up to a really beautiful, colorful opacity. But for today's look, just a sheer coat. I love that. I think that is so pretty. get all over your teeth too late okay so I chose to pair this makeup look with just an oversized band t-shirt this is psych TV it's one of my favorite bands that I just cut and it's very large so I just made it into a dress put some biker shorts or bike shorts underneath it and paired it with some Converse high tops and I got this bikini top. I never wear bikinis, but I like to wear them underneath shirts, especially in the summertime so that uh, I don't have to wear too much. Gives good coverage and it's a cute little pop of color. Chanel bag from the Real Real Classic and just some sunglasses. So that is the look for today. I think I'm gonna put some of that Physician's Formula Serum on my legs too, cause that'll give a nice glow. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comment areas. And also what other brushes and makeup that 
you found that you really enjoy because I'm always on the lookout for good quality makeup. And I will see you again in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.